Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about a concept called time to live. Now time to live is a really important concept for understanding the way that session works behind the scenes in general, but it's particularly important for understanding the way that disappearing messages work and the way that unsending messages work and the difference between those two features in session. Um, so this is a little bit more technical of a video, but I'll try and make sure that my explanation is as simple as possible. So try and follow along and see how you go. And if you've got any questions, make sure you just leave them down in, in the comments below and we'll respond to you as soon as we can. So time to live refers to the amount of time that a message stays in the session network after it's been sent. Um, so session is a messenger that allows people to talk to each other asynchronously. So you can talk to your chat partner, whether they're online or offline. Uh, the message will get delivered to them eventually and then they can reply whenever they want. You don't need to both be online at the same time. And that's really important. Now in a centralized system, this is pretty simple. You send the message um, and it's stored in a central server. And then when your chat partner comes online, they can go and retrieve the message. And you pretty much have a really solid guarantee that that message is going to get delivered because you're relying on that on that central party. There's their guarantee, the service that they're providing is basically, yeah, this service is going to be up. You'll be able to fetch your message from here whenever you come online. With session, things are not quite so simple because it's decentralized. We have to take a little bit of a different approach to make sure that message delivery always happens, regardless of whether both users are online while they're in that conversation. So the approach that we have is something called time to live. So when you send messages on session, they get stored in something called Swarm. So Swarms are groups of about five or seven service nodes, uh, which are servers in the session network, who are going to store all of the messages sent to you. The time that they're going to store them for is a period of two weeks. So for two weeks, they're going to hold on to all of those messages so that if you come online, you can go and fetch all the messages that have been sent to you in the last couple of weeks. Now, of course, those messages are all encrypted and stored in these big encrypted blobs, so they can't really tell anything that's going on, but you are able to go and fetch those messages from the inbox of the server when you're ready. Now, if you were to, if you were to be offline for more than a period of two weeks, your messages would start disappearing, but we, we chose two weeks because we thought that was a pretty good period of time where it gives people enough time to come along, come online, fetch their messages, um, but it's not too long because if, you, if you're storing those messages for too long, you could start to run into some concerns about um, privacy or security of those of the, that piece of data being around for a long time. Uh, so two weeks messages are stored. Now, this is the case for all session, me session messages, but for the user's perspective, this is particularly important when it comes to self-deleting messages and unsending messages. So obviously when you send a self-deleting message, right? So say you send a message and it's timed to delete one day after it's been seen. So you send that message, the person that you uh, wanted to send it to sees it, and one day later uh, you're going to have that message deleted from both devices. The thing with uh, self-deleting messages is that it's deleted on the device. It, it's programmed so that your device will delete that message. It's not deleted from the network itself. So although from both devices it will appear as though the message is completely gone and vanished forever, and for most intents and purposes that is completely true, it is still stored in the network for that two week duration. Now this is only relevant in a really small set of circumstances. Particularly people will run into this when they restore their device because when you do restore your device um, What you're going to do is you're going to go out to the, the, uh, the network and you're going to retrieve all of the information uh, That's stored there. So that's going to include things like the messages that are st that haven't expired yet So the messages from the last couple of weeks and your contacts list um, but because those messages which would have deleted from your device are still in the network, those can be retrieved as well through restoring your device. Now, obviously this isn't necessarily the way that people would expect that to work, and we are actually working on a way where self-deleting messages will delete from the network as well, but once again, when you're working with a decentralized network, things get a little bit more complicated, so that's a solution that we're still working on. Now, the difference between, with unsending messages, which is a different feature from self-deleting messages, is that when you actually unsend a message, 
obviously you delete it from your own device. You also send a, a request to go and delete that message from your chat partner's device as well. And you're also going to delete that message from the network. So the only way to make sure a message is deleted from the network before that two week time to live expires is actually by unsending a message. So there is a very um, a small nuance here. There's a very small difference, but, it's, but also a meaningful difference between unsending messages and self-deleting messages at the moment. Um, so obviously we go to great lengths to make sure that your messages on session are always staying private um, and always staying secure. Time to live, we think, is pretty much the best way uh, to handle message storage and to handle asynchronous messaging in a decentralized way. However, you do run into some strange idiosyncrasies such as uh, with self-deleting messages when you restore, some of those messages can pop back up. Now, I want to assure everybody that is watching um, or that has maybe wondered about this before, there's no database of your messages that's being stored. There's no you know, central server that's storing your messages. Everything is decentralized, everything is programmatic, and um, after two, week, two weeks, those messages are always deleted from the network forever. So that's a really important detail uh, that will, will not be changing anytime soon, and it's important for people to understand this slightly technical concept. So that's all you really need to know about time to live. Um, and if you've got any questions, like I said, make sure you leave those down in the comments below, and we'll try and get back to you. See ya.